Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. We have a new co-host, Lee Zen, and you'll get to meet him later in the show. Is it time yet? Well, no, just hang no, on just no. a little bit. Okay. My first interview is Travis Broughton of Intel. He's a solutions architect, and he'll be talking to us about their Express Gateway product. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. So tell me a bit about what you do for Intel. Well, I work in the uh, data center software division. We put out the uh, Intel data center manager. We have the Intel uh, distribution of Hadoop. Uh, we're working on Lustre, and we have the Expressway API manager, which is the product that I'm working on. Okay, now how long have you worked there? I've been with Intel for 15 years. Tell, let's talk about the Expressway Service Gateway. Uh, so the Expressway API Service Gateway is a, uh, it's an API management platform. It allows uh, companies to basically not have to worry so much about the uh, security and, and the uh, commodity bits of putting out an API and, and really focus on the, the business logic and, and the things that are going to differentiate them in providing a, a compelling API. If I'm a customer and I have the gateway installed, is this only for internal APIs that my company would export, or is this also for access to outside APIs? No, we can, we can do both. Um, we, we've traditionally been, uh, we originated as an on-premise solution, and we focused a lot on uh, internal facing APIs, but we, we also can serve as uh, an external, uh, basically perimeter defense solution. Do customers generally realize up front that they need a service gateway, or do they end up realizing after the fact when issues arise that they need to actually retrofit it into their architecture? I think it's generally after the fact. I, I think you know, a lot of times they just go, they dive in, they want to create some capability, or they realize that they want to surface some legacy component, and, and they try to figure out how to do that, and then that's when it occurs to them that a, a gateway could avoid them having to do some of that heavy lifting themselves to, to bridge between that uh, internal legacy debt and something that's consumable by, by mobile or by partners, other, other types of developers. What's the relevance of all this to mobile? Most mobile developers base their ap applications on um, REST, on JSON, on uh, OAuth authentication. In the data center, you, you probably have Active Directory or LDAP, so we can provide a, a bridge uh, an identity bridge that uh, that presents your uh, internal uh, Active Directory and LDAP credential or identities uh, in a way that they can be consumed through OAuth, which is the the common way of authenticating with mobile devices. Do you have any good customer stories you can tell us about? Yes, we uh, we have one customer, a, a video gaming customer. They they found that when Christmas rolls around, people want to activate games and, and they have a huge spike in demand. So we, we believe that by allowing uh, customers to uh, leverage the cloud in elastic scaling, which EC2 does very well, we'll be able to um, meet that seasonal demand in a way that's cost effective for the customer. They're in effect dealing with a, a once a year spike in demand then? Exactly, they're dealing with seasonal spikes um, and, and that it's not unique to the video gaming industry, so we, we think there will be a lot of other customers who will also find uh, some, some benefit from that scalability. The gateway is listed in the AWS Marketplace. How's that worked out for you so far? Uh, it's, it's working out pretty, really well. We're, uh, we're happy with the, uh, the uptake that we've seen. Are you finding customers discover this product anew from the gateway, or are the more existing customers seeing that the Marketplace is just simply the way to launch it? We're seeing a, a, a lot of organic search. We're seeing a lot of people who are, are looking for API security or looking for API integration, some of those keywords. And we, we trend fairly well there, so they're, they're coming at the uh, product that way. I think our marketplace folks will be really happy to hear about the discovery side. Sure, e EC2, uh, EC2 security is another you know, hot topic that people are interested in, and, and we're happy that we can play in that space. All right, well, I've enjoyed speaking with you and appreciate your taking the time to uh, come by today. Thanks. My pleasure. I promise to introduce you to my new co-host for the AWS Report, and I'm proud to introduce you to Li Zen. Thanks so much for having me. So what do you do for AWS? I'm a software development manager for Route 53. It's our authoritative DNS product. How long have you been doing that? I've been doing that for over a year. As a development manager, what are some of the things you have to do day after day? I run the Scrum for our team, which is an agile process for stand-up where we meet together to discuss where we are on a daily basis. So I always thought Scrum actually meant stand in the hall and block everybody from getting past. Is, is that not actually the case? We actually meet in a small area outside of the hallway, so we don't block everyone, but I can see how you might think that. What's the deal with the Post-it notes? The Post-it notes are, well, that's, that's a nice way to move things around and, and be able to show ourselves 
wh where we are with, with respect to the process. So that's, it's just a nice way to keep track of things. Now, do people just walk by and randomize the post-it notes just to mess with you? Only when you're in our hallway. Ah, uh, OK. That's why they moved me to the eighth floor. Though. That's exactly. So what do you think you're going to bring to the show? I used to do broadcasting in radio. Uh, I used to broadcast uh, women's basketball and baseball when I was in college. So I did play-by-play, -play, color commentary, uh, and actually traveled with the team uh, to bring sports coverage to, to fans. And I actually have a segment that we recorded that shows all the things I went through for the audition, and I kind of want to show that to you guys. Well, let's cut to the clip. Awesome. So uh, welcome to the show and certainly hope things that uh, are going to work out well for us. Thanks for watching the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. You can follow me on Twitter or read the AWS blog.